Hello and welcome to The Crypto Lifestyle, where we focus on decentralization, mass adoption, and other Bitcoin related stuff to bank us coin. And in this video, we're going to be covering the topic of the Bitcoin Taproot upgrade. So Taproot is a soft fork upgrade for the Bitcoin protocol that will improve the privacy of transactions and also add complex transactions through the use of Schnorr signatures. It is a complex subject, so make sure that you stick with me until the very end. And if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Connor. I have my own channel called Crypto Empire. If you wanna check that out, there's a link down in the description below. And I'm stepping in for the man, Mr. 100X, Francis. Shout out to Francis and the whole team of admins at The Crypto Lifestyle for doing the work that they do to make this community great. So if you wanna stay tapped into The Crypto Lifestyle and you are new, hit that subscribe button, like this video, comment down below, and make sure you have all bell notifications turned on as well. And without further ado, let's get into the Bitcoin Taproot upgrade. Woo <laughs> Crypto lifestyle, baby. So the Bitcoin Taproot upgrade will be the first major upgrade to Bitcoin's core code ever since Segregated Witness, more commonly known as SegWit, was introduced back in 2017. And basically SegWit enhanced the optimization of Bitcoin. It made the blockchain more efficient. You wait less time for transactions. So it was a very big upgrade for Bitcoin at the time. And the markets did reflect that in a positive manner. The price action was bullish. So we are expecting a similar reaction in the markets when Taproot does go live later on in November of 2021. And basically, Bitcoin has a number of problems in terms of scalability, privacy, and security. In terms of scalability, we do have the Lightning Network, which essentially makes transactions very efficient, utilizing lower transaction costs and higher speeds. So as we do know, Bitcoin is a legal tender now in El Salvador. And here we have a guy named Peter McCormick. He does have a very big Bitcoin podcast. So regardless of what you think of him, he does a lot of good work for the Bitcoin community. So he's down in El Salvador saying he's buying coffee with Bitcoin using the Lightning Network. So in terms of scalability, Lightning is taking care of that, but Taproot will also enhance the scalability of Bitcoin. I'll be explaining how in this video. But the main thing that Taproot will be solving is the security and privacy, because it's gonna add another layer of anonymity to the blockchain to make it more secure and more private. And the way it does do that is something called Schnorr signatures. I will be explaining what Schnorr signatures are in just one second. But in order to do that, you need to understand what a multi-sig transaction is for Bitcoin. So I'll briefly explain that with an analogy. Imagine you have a secure deposit box that has two keys and two locks. So basically, in order to get into that box, you need both keys at the same exact time. So let's say I'm holding one key and you're also holding another key, but you're somewhere else in the world. And I want to get access to the box right now. And I only have one key, so I can't actually open the box. That is essentially what multi-sig is. So basically the funds stored on a multi-signature address can only be accessed by using two or more signatures. Therefore, the use of a multi-sig wallet enables users to create an additional layer of security to their funds. So multi-sig is definitely a way to enhance the security of your Bitcoin. However, it does present some security issues because everybody can see whether or not you're using a multi-sig wallet address on the blockchain. And basically what Schnorr Signatures is going to do, it's going to hide the fact if you are using a multi-sig address or just a regular single key address, that will all be completely anonymous on the blockchain because it's not right now and Schnorr Signatures will improve that. So basically, Taproot was first introduced in January of 2018 by Bitcoin core developer Gregory Maxwell. And then two years later, Taproot was added to the Bitcoin core code. So Taproot is a major upgrade because as we know right now, Bitcoin has its fair share of privacy issues. It's an open ledger blockchain, meaning that every single transaction that takes place can be seen on the open explorer. So you're in plain sight, everything you do can be tracked and traced. There's no doubt about that. So Schnorr Signatures does help improve that. I'll be explaining why right now. So basically Schnorr Signatures are a different kind of scheme. Satoshi used ECDSA, otherwise known as Elliptical Curve Digital Signature Algorithm, when he did code the Bitcoin protocol. And that is because Klaus P. Schnorr did have a patent on his code for Schnorr Signatures at the time. So Satoshi did just opt for ECDSA. So the Schnorr signatures do have a number of advantages over the elliptical curve digital signature algorithm. 
in the terms of multi-sig transactions. So basically we already know that Bitcoin supports multi-sig, but it doesn't do that in the prettiest of ways. When you create a multi-sig address, whoever sends you funds doesn't need to know what conditions you spent for sending the inputs, meaning that whoever sending you the money doesn't need to know that you need two private keys to spend that money later on. That's none of that person's business. And with ECDSA, that is transparent on the blockchain. You can see it in the transaction. But with Schnorr signatures, it's going to hide that step. So basically, you reveal your wallet's nature when you move the funds. Let's give an example. Let's say you use the three of three setup with Alice and Bob. So there's three private keys to access those funds. So to spend, say, five Bitcoin, the three of you must provide the public keys and valid signatures. And when you move the funds out of the address, the entire network can learn what's happened by looking at the blockchain. So everybody can see that, that three public keys were used to send that money. So they know that you need three for that address. So from a privacy standpoint, this isn't great. To add to this, if we create bigger multi-sigs from eight to ten of them, then you're taking up a lot of space on the blockchain. And that can be expensive and it causes congestion as well. So basically that's going to result in a lengthy transaction. And the more bytes in your transaction, the more fee that you're going to need to pay. So Schnorr signatures do solve a bit of that problem by using signature aggregation. And when I think of aggregation, the first thing that pops in my mind is one inch, how they aggregate decentralized exchanges and find you the best rate with the least slippage of all the DEXs out there. And Schnorr signatures is pretty similar, but obviously not finding rates for decentralized exchanges, but it combines the signatures of multiple signers into a single signature, resulting in a master signature, which would still be the same length as a regular one person signature, leading to significant space savings. Also, in addition, the combined signatures make it a lot more difficult for an observer to determine who signed or didn't sign a transaction. So in M of M schemes, where all participants must sign to spend funds, you wouldn't even be able to distinguish between single party transactions and multi-sig ones. So that is a major improvement that Taproot will be bringing to the Bitcoin Core protocol. You essentially won't be able to tell if somebody is using multi-sig or not anymore. And this is big for security. Another improvement with Taproot will be the fact that you won't be able to tell if a transaction was sent via the Lightning Network, whether it was a smart transaction utilizing smart contracts, or it was peer-to-peer. -peer. Because right now, that's all open information on the public blockchain on the Explorer. But once Taproot does go live in November, you essentially won't be able to tell the difference on whether a transaction was multi-sig like we discussed, whether it was Lightning Network, peer-to-peer, -peer, it's all gonna be anonymous now. So the miners did vote, they had 90% consensus to make Taproot go live. And this did just happen a few days ago. That's what all the news is about for Taproot, of course. So that just goes to show you how the mining community is in favor of this upgrade. The Bitcoin community at large is really in favor of this upgrade going live. So we are very excited for Taproot here at the Crypto Lifestyle. And also Taproot will also be enhancing scalability. We did just discuss how it's gonna take up less space on the blockchain. So this is gonna reduce transaction space by around 20%. That number will be higher if more people use multi-sig transactions. And it's also going to improve on the network congestion. And by aiding the network congestion, the upgrade will bring a higher transaction throughput as well as cheaper transaction fees. So right now when the Bitcoin blockchain is congested, fees can range anywhere from like 20 to $60. So any improvement in the right direction is very bullish for Bitcoin. Cheaper fees means happier users and people are more willing to spend their money freely and send their Bitcoin freely. So all these factors definitely do add up in the long run. So it's important to take note, understand what they are so that you can take advantage of exactly what is going on and you're ahead of the curve. So the Taproot upgrade is Bitcoin's largest update in four years time. It's a major catalyst to prolong this bull run of 2021. It will be going live in November, early to mid-November. So we are anticipating bullish price action during that time. And this upgrade will hopefully add fuel to that fire and prolong this bull run so that we could bank more coin because that's what we're all about here at the crypto lifestyle so if you did enjoy this video make sure you let me know down in the comments below if you're new to the crypto lifestyle and you haven't subscribed yet smash that subscribe button make sure you have all bell notifications turned on and leave a like on this video and my name is connor from the crypto lifestyle and at this point in time there really isn't anything else left to say other than until the next video your ass is on your own brah later